So today I'm going to be making butternut squash fries. I have some butternut squash cut up to the side that I'm going to freeze. You can also freeze the butternut squash fries as well. So I'm using the top half of the butternut squash and I've cut that in half and I'm going to slice it down like this into fry shapes. And so I'm just going to get that cut up and I'll be back to let you see what that looks like. So now I, now I have my butternut squash all sliced up, and now it's time to batter it. So I'm starting with a dry and a wet batter, and the dry batter is just spelled flour. It's seasoned with some sea salt, a little onion powder, and cayenne pepper. So I'm dipping it in the dry batter first, and then the wet batter, which is just a little water with chickpea flour and the same seasonings, but you can season it however you prefer. And then I'm going to put that back into the spelt flour so that it can be nice and crispy. And now I'm just going to continue until I have all of my butternut squash fries battered. So I've done them all and I have a few that are just battered in spelt flour only. So I'm cooking them in some grapeseed oil. And I'm cooking them for about three to five minutes on each side until they kind of get nice and crispy. But I noticed that the ones that are just in spelt flour did not get as crispy as the ones that are double battered. But it's looking pretty good so far. So this is what it looks like when it's completely done. And as you can see, the ones that are double battered are a little bigger and they're much more crispier. Um, the one that just has spelt flour, it's still pretty good, but it's a little softer. And there you have it.